Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Panther School. My name is Amit Singh, and here in this video, we will talk about what is call stack and how the call stack is executing all the methods whenever you are invoking in any methods, either from anonymous window or from any other Apex class, triggers, batch Apex, or any other services. So before we go ahead, please give it a like, subscribe and also press the bell icon so that you don't miss any update from our side. Now let's quickly talk about what is a call stack. Call stack is the place within most of the programming languages where all the methods are getting inserted in the order they are getting executed and then one by one all the methods will be executed now here this is a very simple over here the very simple example it is where i'm calling a method a it could be from anonymous window or it could be from a pex trigger method a is calling b and b is calling c c is calling d and d is calling e so this is basically a chain of methods which are being called within the methods we will also see another example after we are done with this example. Now what will happen whenever you are calling this method A, the method A is going to be inserted into the stack. Now as method A is calling method B, there could be some other statements like debug statement or some SQL statement. Those will be executed. As soon as the any method is being called, in our case method B, as soon as method B is being called, method b will be inserted into the stack now if there are any further statements inside method b before it is calling method c those statements will be executed then once the method is here method will be inserted into a stack now c is ultimately calling method d and d is calling e so this is how our stack is going to look like now system will find there are no further methods which needs to be put inside a stack it will start processing these methods now how the method is pro here is going to be processed now whatever the method that is there on the top of the stack that will be processed first and then it is going to pop up that method out of the stack then it is going to process the next method so how it will look like is going to be first method e is going to be popped up after execution then method d will be popped up and similarly method c b and a so once everything is every execution is completed the cursor the pointers is going to be here inside method a and then you will be having other statements which are being executed after calling method b so now let's quickly see the demo for this so you will be able to understand it in a more clear way this is my vs code where i have created the class called call stack demo which i'll be giving you in the first pinned comment of the description now here you see here i have got all those methods which we have just discussed okay now here we have method a method b c d and e method a is calling b b is calling c and c is calling d and d is calling e and there is nothing inside method e now what will happen as soon as method A is being called, let's quickly try to have the stack over here, prepare the stack. So as soon as method A is being called, it is going to call method A over here in the stack. Now, if there is any print statement or debug statement, for example, I'm having inside method A before calling B. Now I have got this. So this debug statement is going to be executed and then method will be called. As soon as the method is being called, it is going to push into the stack. Now, as this method has been put into the stack, this line is not going to be executed until unless this method has finished the execution. Now, as method B is calling method C, or you can also have the debug statement over here before calling C, and you can say that before C, okay? Now, this method C is going to be pushed inside our stack. Similarly, method D will be pushed, like we have seen, right? Our stack was uh, filling up with the methods that is how it is going to fill up over here in the stack in the salesforce stack now we have got this over here we got all the methods now the system will find okay from this method e there is nothing as such 
which is calling any other method there are no further methods that needs to be pushed inside the stack so it will start executing method e so our outcome will be first we'll see the outcome as how the outcome we will see this is how outcome will be there let's quickly have this outcome over here so the outcome is going to be first inside method e it will finish or it will finish the execution then we will see the outcome as method d then it is going to pass the cursor or the pointer or control to method c then similarly we will say here we will say method b now there is a trick here because we are printing this so first this is going to be our the very first debug statement we will say okay this is going to be our very first debug statement which is calling inside method a before calling b now it is going to come here so we will see the debug inside method before calling c okay this is what we are going to get and then we will see inside method c we have already here so this is going to be executed now so we will see here inside method c and then it is going to say inside method b okay we are here inside method c so that is okay we got this inside method c should be we already got inside method b we have already got then we will see inside method a so this is something similar to now i am not sure if i put the exact debug statement over here but we will see something similar to this okay now let's quickly go ahead deploy this okay i am just going to deploy this class to salesforce so that i can execute this now to execute this i will quickly prepare a one simple line code here to call the method the class name and the method name i am able to call the method directly from the class name because the method is static okay so if the method is static we don't need to create the instance of the class we can directly call the method with the name of our class now what i'll do is i'll just go ahead and copy this and then i will quickly go to terminal open my org because i wanted to execute this code from the developer console so that we all can see the debug log so we are here inside our developer console go to debug open execute in omnis window and i have copied the code i'm going to paste it over here i will make sure that open log is selected the checkbox and i will execute you also need to do the same process in order to execute the code then from this bottom select debug only and you will see inside method a before calling b then we got method c then we have got method e d c b and a and if you get back let's quickly try to do a control z this is what we actually try to here put something this is how the outcome is going to look like and that's what we have gotten over here so that is how our call stack executes the method behind the scene and uh, you have seen right these statements are getting executed so if there is any statement any for loop any show call query that is going to execute before calling a method so if there is any statement before calling method it will be executed then this method will be put into the stack and as soon as a method statement or method calling comes then the other method is going to be executed so that is how it works now let's quickly try to make this scenario more complex okay because this was pretty simple we are calling the methods in the chain now what will happen if we have a scenario something like this there is a method a which is calling method e b and c d then method b is calling method c so how our call stack is going to look like how the call stack will be there you call a method a method a is going to be inserted into call stack now method a is calling method e so method e is method e is going to be pushed into the call stack and as here as per our requirement method e is not calling any method so all the statements are going to be executed from method e and method e is going to be popped up after execution method e will be quickly popped up from a stack and then method c will be executed 
now we have got method b over here inside call stack so as method b is calling method c so method c will also be pushed into the stack and then method c is not calling any methods so method c will be executed it will pop up from the stack then we will see method b now method b is also going to execute and pop up from a stack then we will see method d because now a is calling method d so method d is going to push into the stack method d will be executed and then method a will be executed at the end we will see an empty call stack there is no further processing required and your program is going to stop there now let's try to implement this with the help of our apex class as well so we will take the same example over here that we have used like the same class we are going to have and then i am going to just call the all the methods which are basically being called from method a in the same order so method e and method b okay so first thing we need to call method e so we are calling method e method b and method d and method b is calling method c now all these methods like method c is not calling any other method as well as method d is also not calling any other method so that is our program which we have developed as per the example method a let's quickly remove this statement or let it be before calling methods then it is going to execute method e so our debug statement is going to be this now let's quickly try to put the debug how the debug is going to look like here the execution order method a is going to be called and then it is going to execute our method the line that we have the debug statement now after that it is going to execute method e so what is there inside method e this is just a simple debug statement after that method b will be executed so under method b we will see there is a debug statement over here so we'll say okay now method b is calling method c so we will go there and see what is there inside method c so it is again method c so we'll have this as soon as method c will be executed this is going to send the control back to your method b because c is being referred from method b and then this line is going to be executed so we'll have this and method b is going to send the control back to sales uh, this method a and then method a will again call the method d so method d have some debug statement we'll print that over here then method a method d is going to send this control back to method a method a is going to do the other processing which is nothing a simple debug statement so this is how we are going to see the debug statement now here if we if i talk about line numbers so this is going to be line number 14 then this is calling method e then we will see line number 36 this is how the execution will happen then method b is being called then we will see line number 22 from method b the control is getting handed over to method c then we are getting 28 the control is again coming back to method b so we'll have line number 24 and then from 24 we are going to call method d which will be line number 32 and finally line number 18 so this is how our debug statement should perform okay the line number might be different because we are uh, having this debug so these are also covering the line numbers okay the comment is also covering line numbers i will go ahead quickly redeploy this code to our uh, org to our salesforce org and then let's get back to the developer console go to debug open execute in ominous window the code should be there already select that and execute once you execute check this checkbox to see the debug only and you will see the debug statement here 13 35 21 27 so these are all the debug statement if you get back here okay there is a slight one number difference in all the debug statement we have written as 14 here it is 13 then 35 21 27 23 31 17 and that is what we have written it over here yeah so it should it is basically 13 because we have uh, we had like this that's why we had 14 then we removed the space so the line number became 14 sorry 13 again i'll quickly show this because there was an space and we got a wrong numbers long wrong lines 
again i'm just after deploying get back to your if you wanted to test that we were accurate or not go to debug statement select execute anomalous and execute so once you do the same you will this time you will see the accurate line numbers over here so that is how the call stack works behind the scene in salesforce whenever you are calling the method i hope this is something that was useful for you to debug the uh, like this will be helpful whenever you are debugging any errors that you are having and that class or that program is calling the multiple methods so yes this is it for this video thank you for your time and uh, please hit the like button subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates we will meet into the next video with the next exciting concept thank you